Does food call out to you? Does it whisper like a siren calling to you? <laughs> Are you familiar with the story of sirens calling to pirates? The sirens, mermaids in most stories, right, would sing or call out to the pirates in an attempt to lure them towards the shore to their death by crashing their ship into the shoreline rocks. This is how I used to feel about donuts. I could be sitting in a whole other room in my house and I would hear the donut saying, come eat me, I'm so delicious. Don't you remember how yummy I was the last time? <laughs> now, if you aren't compelled by food, then what I just said will sound utterly ridiculous to you. <laughs> but if you are familiar with the siren call of your favorite foods, listen on. So I used to feel so out of control around donuts. Like I could not stop at one donut. I would try so hard to resist eating them, telling myself I didn't want one, then quickly thinking, oh, but I do. I, I don't just want one. I want two. I want six, but I shouldn't. Depending on how long I could hold out, which typically was like five, maybe 10 minutes, I would go and devour the donuts, plural, donuts. Eating six in one shot was not uncommon for me. I would eat them super fast. It was a frenzy inside of my head until that first bite. Then I would feel so incredibly good while I was scarfing donuts down. It was almost like my brain shut off. My brain stopped talking. It was quiet. It was getting the dopamine hit from the sugar, flour, and creamy yumminess of the donuts. Then it's like you come out of this eating fog and then it hits you and it hits you hard. Why did I just do that? Guilt starts flooding in. That sick feeling in your stomach creeps in like you just did something morally wrong. Then words start bombarding your brain. What were you thinking? This is not going to get you leaner. What is wrong with you? Why do you keep sabotaging yourself? You have no control. You will never lose weight. Then I would try to pick myself up by thinking, I can do this. I just need to be more strict and more disciplined with my food. Suck it up, buttercup, right? This restriction phase would last for maybe a week and then the weekend would roll around and it was the same cycle. Resist, resist some more, then snap, eat everything, guilt, recommit to restriction, suck it up and repeat. If you are in this resist cycle, it is no fun. Constantly feeling out of control only to attempt to gain control. Swinging back and forth because someone told you this is how to lose weight. That is a lie. You will never lose weight and keep it off doing this cycle. And this is what everyone else is teaching you. Over the past 20 years, I have been honing in on my process to lose weight and to keep it off for good. A process that involves feeling calm and relaxed around your favorite foods, all kinds of foods, where you empower yourself as you get healthier and leaner. My process is what I teach my clients, and I'm inviting you to join in on a piece of this process in my virtual workshop, Crush Your Cravings. Learn how to break the resist cycle. Understand why your cravings keep winning and how to feel calm and relaxed around your most tempting foods. So I want to invite you to register for the virtual Crush Your Cravings workshop. It happens on October 13th of 2021. The website to learn more and to register is endcravings.com. Dot gr dot com. So E N D C R A V I N G S dot G 
r8.com. The link will be in the show notes. I cannot wait to see you in the workshop because this workshop is going to change your life. I will see you in a couple of days.